Hello, welcome back to part three of, it's either three or 11 of The Breaking Dawn. Um, getting back to what I was saying, you will have passionate love. You go to their spouse and you will have come to a point now that you've gotten to the groove of your intimacy as well. Um... And you're going to have a level of uh, maturity about it, okay? Both of you, as well as a balance about it. Some people like more control, some people like less control, so on and so forth. You're going to move with each other's pacing. Some of your spouses, the reason they were stuck in other relationships is they liked the control the other person had in their intimacy. They could let go in that moment. So when it comes to you, they're going to be able to allow you to take the lead in some of these areas. Okay? Because remember, Belle threw him on the bed. You're going to be a little bit more powerful. And he's going to allow that. Because he's not going to restrain you. And for some of y'all women, if you tell the truth, shame the devil, stop being religious. And if you're religious, get out of here. Um, you're going to be dealing with um, the fact that you desire to have that level of intimate control because of the level of stuff that's going on around y'all, having that outlet and the fact that your husband lets you be that dominant in that area is going to be perfect for you because in some ways there, as a Christian, and you know this, there is a level of frustration that we get and we carry that we can't release nowhere. Guess where you're going to release it? This is why it's going to be heavily passionate lovemaking. Because both you and your spouse, because y'all are nice people, you ain't got nowhere to release that frustration. Guess what? You and him are going to be releasing it in that bedroom. You don't get mad at situations. You're not going to get angry at situations. You're going to work it out in the bedroom. Tony Braxton and Babyface made a song uh, called Sweat. You can figure it out. That's all I'm going to say about it, okay? <laughs> uh, we moving past this conversation. Oh, they also move, uh, are both moving in the same strength. So she's now equal his strength, if not stronger. So whatever um, amount of timidity or uh, gentleness he was using before, he don't got to use that no more. There's going to be a leveling up in your intimacy with your spouse as you go that he ain't going to have to baby you in the bedroom. Because you're both going to be operating in the same energy. <laughs> okay? So, moving on. I made this note. Forgot about it. This is probably why the Lord made me make this note. The phone rings in the film. As the phone is ringing in the film while I'm watching it, where I was sitting at, another phone started ringing simultaneously. I mean ring for ring. I believe this means you're not going to just be hearing any more about communication with your spouse. You're about to go from hearing about it to seeing it simultaneous manifestation meaning it's going to go from spirit to reality like that okay thank you god for giving me that because i didn't know what that phone ringing meant 
but communication is coming. And I've been seeing this. Uh, I was listening to radio the other day and um, Renee, Tre- Ren- isn't, yeah. Renee Tresvant, he uh, was do he does the R&B lounge on Magic 95 and he was playing the old new edition song, Mr. Telephone Man. In that song, the song goes, Mr. Telephone Man, something's wrong with my line. I dial my baby's number. I get a click every time. Then I also was listening to Bruno Mars and Anderson Packey singing um, Love Train. And if you recall in that song, they talking about trying to get in touch with the female, but can't get through to her till a specific point in time in the night. Okay. Uh, and thirdly, it was something else. I forgot what it was uh, in relation to the phone. But communication, there's a level of communication that has been being manipulated i was listening to truth and truth obey imagine ministries and she was talking about the your god of spouse has been wanting to communicate with you but there's been a spiritual block and as well pro, uh poetry and prophecy did a word and in the word she did she was also talking about the fact that whoever it was that he was in relationship with was which and she was trying to block his ability to communicate trusting uh, trusting him trust obey imagine ministries was saying that these people have been using witchcraft to stop them from speaking either physically by actually doing something to them through witchcraft to target a dart at them to prevent their mouth from being able to open as well as the fact that um preventing them from being able to pick up the phone and call you some it's about the contact meaning they haven't been able to get through because maybe the number they have is wrong uh so on and so forth i know didn't i just i've been i've been complaining about one of my phones no longer works Okay, so they may have been trying to get in touch with you. They may have the wrong number to communicate with you. This is why you haven't heard from them amongst the other several different reasons I just said. So that was a caveat that the Lord brought in through the phone ringing, not only in the film, but where I was at the exact time that I was watching the movie. So pay attention to that. Communication is trying to come. Deani Nevs uh, released a word called expect something on March 31st. Okay. Now, March 31st then already passed. But she was talking about text messages, phone calls, and emails. Making sure that your communication level is blo- is not blocked. Meaning if you're expecting an email... Keep an eye on your inbox. Expecting a phone call, make sure that your ringer is on. If you're expecting a text message, make sure to check your text messages. My dad get text messages all the time and never answers them because he gets so many all the time that he just, he don't understand it. His doctors and all that kind of stuff be trying to get in touch with him and he be like, I don't check my text messages. What did, what's, why are you texting me? <laughs> check your texts. You may be trying to get communication. And now certain things have spiritually been broken off your God or dang spouse. They trying to get in touch ASAP. So they getting what they need to get done, done. And as soon as they able to, they going to be trying to get in touch with you one way or another. And what's, what's more than likely going to happen, if they can't get in touch, touch with you, let me explain something to you. If they can't get in touch with you, you might end up one day be sitting on your couch. Because I've seen this has happened with some of the people that I've heard. They got a phone call. They still got the phone call. But um, the person said, hey, he said, are you home? And he was like, yeah, I'm home. And it, what's going on? The person, the, the God of dang spouse said, uh, I'm about five minutes away from your house. I'll be there in a minute. Now, 
Do you not remember the word that I released talking about? I was talking about something in relation to praying for your husband. And the second I said the word husband, there was a knock on the door. Some of these men are going to bypass text messages, bypass phone calls, bypass emails. They ain't been able to get in touch with you up until this point. They said, forget it. <laughs> I'm going to just knock on the daggone door. I also got a warning from Stephanie P where she was talking about the fact that um, some of these men, they've been too shy. And her warning was, they are shy. Your husbands are shy. I know my husband's shy. And some of them, they are watching, but they too shy to say something. Some of them going through warfare can't say something. But there's also somebody else potentially watching you. That's why I say, you saw in the early part of me recording this content, it's probably going to be a couple days back from now, that I saw something that looked like a familiar person, right? The enemy may be trying to send someone to try to block this person from getting access to you. It may be a test for you, but it also may be a deterrent for your God ordained spouse, meaning this person may be placed there to block them from approaching. Understand what I'm saying? Pray against manipulative attack, okay? A person coming in to manipulate the situation because sometimes it's just about making it look a certain way. I'm going to even say this much. I was having dreams a few years back that I was where in the dream I woke up in a compromising position with somebody I ain't seen in years. And I looked up and my God ordained spouse was looking at me. And I was like, and I'm sitting up there like, oh my God. And I turned to look at the person that had put me in a compromising position. And it was, I knew in the scenario, it was, it wasn't about me having had done what was being appeared to have been done. It was about it looking like I did. Be prepared. Okay. Okay. The enemy ain't playing fair right now. 